Party Chairman, Secretary General, and my fellow comrades. Indeed, it is a great honour for me to be able to speak to you about costs that I feel so strongly about. Renewal with diversity at all levels. About nine years ago, I left a rather challenging job as a litigator specialising in shipping law for an in-house legal role. I was a young mother then, and I wanted to spend more time to focus on my young children. It was ironic that that very same year, I signed myself up as a PAP branch activist. I'm sure many of you out here would attest to the fact that being a branch activist can be another full-time job. So I was questioned by my husband. He could not understand my motives for signing up for a cause that essentially meant less time for my family and my young children. I had to explain my motives. My motives were powered by my motherly instincts. After GE 2011, I was concerned, very concerned about the future of Singapore. Like many mothers out here, I wanted my daughter to grow up in a safe environment, to be able to walk along the streets of Singapore late at night without me having to worry about her safety. I wanted my son to be a part of a system that rewards merits and honest work. I could not face the prospect of another political party that spews out populist sentiments just to garner votes to govern Singapore. I wanted a party who could secure my children's future. Hence, my journey as a branch activist started out by being an MPS writer at the Bukit Timah branch. Over the years, I took on more roles, such as legal matters and helping out with communication strategies during the general elections. But after having a taste of fighting in the general elections, what struck me most is that focusing on MPS is not good enough to secure votes for the party. As political activists and as true believers of the cause, we need to do more than just social and administration work. Yes, writing appeals is fine, but majority of our voters never need to come for MPS. Again, helping the needy is extremely important. But then again, majority of our voters do not need our care packs or our supermarket vouchers. So we must fight for the party. What does that mean? It means to fight for a cause for an ever better Singapore. It is not enough for our MPs and our candidates to do the fighting for us. It is not enough to simply just fight during the nine days of campaign. Fighting need not be fierce. It is about winning over hearts and minds. Every conversation, every email exchange, and every chance encounter is an opportunity for us to win over voters to our cause. And this is something each and every activist can do every single day. So we have our work cut out for us. Our challenge, the challenge for the party, is to attract more believers of all diversities to our cause and to ensure that we are able to tap on their strengths. Which comes to the crux of my speech. The PAP leadership has long recognised the need for continual renewal. This is apparent in the number of new candidates that have been fielded in every GE. 
However, the party has to go beyond the injection of only new candidates during the general election. It has to constantly renew, rejuvenate itself with fresh blood at every single level. The PAP has been in power for many years. Indeed, we have accomplished much together. But perhaps because of our long period in power, we suffer from a particular disadvantage. Like many long ruling political parties in other countries, we run the risk of complacency. We have to avoid the dangers of groupthink and stagnation. We must not wallow in our own echo chambers. We must introduce new energies, new diversities, diversity in age, gender, race, and background. We need to ensure that our party's membership truly reflects the diversity of Singapore. And most importantly, we have to make sure that the diversity counts in anticipating ground needs, input in policy formulation, and communicating effectively with our voters. So, how are we doing on diversity in the party? In the last GE, our party has fielded the largest number of PAP female candidates ever. But there is still room for improvement. Currently, 26.9% of branch chairs are females. What is the percentage of branch secretaries who are females? 12.9%. This clearly does not reflect the gender distribution of female voters, where half of our voters are women. I say we must empower more women to helm the running of branches. Gender diversity is essential to the PAP. At this juncture, I must really thank my comrades Comrade Simen, my veteran branch comrades, who I affectionately call Xianbeis, or we call them seniors. Last but not least, my branch comrades, as well as my fellow comrades from the Holland Bukit Timah branch. You know who you are. I truly appreciate and thank you for your confidence and support. However, my very first act as branch secretary is to look for my successor. I must step aside to look for newer talents and newer energies. Please don't get me wrong. I will be a PAP member for life. But if you do still see me holding on this position of branch secretary for two GEs down the road, then surely, something must have gone wrong with our renewal process. We must remember, the PAP is only able to form the government of today with the support and mandate of our fellow citizens. This we must never take for granted. We must make sure PAP truly reflects the diversity of Singapore. Majula PAP, Majula Singapura.